In this part of the training, we're going to go over the structure of your blog article because this is the most important thing of all, even more important than the keyword itself. Now, although keywords are important, your blog article structure is even more important. So the first thing that you need to understand is users browsing habits. Now, most people, what they do when they land on a blog article, they read the title, they read the beginning of the article. If there's a video, they watch the video. And most of the time, they go down the bottom to read the conclusion. So knowing that, it's important that the blog article structure is made for people who are actually doing this. Because most people actually, they don't necessarily read the whole article unless they're really interested in the subject. So as you're about to see, this blog article structure makes perfect sense. And this needs to be done in that exact order. So the first thing that people need to see, aside from the title of your article, is a featured image. And that image needs to be search engine optimized. Later during this training, I'm going to show you how to make them and how to optimize them. The second thing that people need to see is a clickable table of contents. Now, if you remember, I just told you that people like to get to the point real fast. So having a clickable table of contents allows them to go and look for what they're really searching for. And all you need to do is go and install the plugin that's suggested in module one. There's a plugin for that where it's going to install a clickable table of contents in your articles for you. The next thing that's very important is the short answer. Now, Google has what they call the, the featured snippet. And with AI, they also have generated responses. So it's important that you can provide a short answer to your audience right off the gate. And again, as I just told you, people are looking for straight up answers. They don't necessarily want to read the whole article. So with the clickable table of contents and the short answer at the top, you're providing your users a good surfing experience, as we could say. That short answer also needs to be search engine optimized. It has to have your keyword in it. The next thing that's very important, and most people don't do this, and it's so easy to do faceless videos nowadays, especially with AI technology and stuff like that, make videos for your blog articles. It doesn't take much time. And obviously you want to optimize those videos on YouTube. Later during this training, I'm also going to be going more in depth about this, how to make very short and quick videos that are search engine optimized. Then you want to add your main article that's also search engine optimized. So as you can see, by the time that they get to the main article, they can choose what they want to see. They could get their fast answer and they can watch a video. Now, if this all interests them, then they're going to read the entire article. And after the article, you want to cover frequently asked questions. And I'm going to show you later where to find this. It's in Google. Basically, we're going to be looking for the people asked and the related searches answers. And we're going to be able to add more content to the blog article with that. And you want to have also your keyword at least once in there, right? And then you have the key takeaways. Once more, you want to optimize the key takeaways with your keyword. Then you have your inbound links, which means linking to other articles of yours within your blog that is relevant to that article you're making. So if you're making an article, you also want to add links that lead to some of your other articles that is relevant to whatever article you're creating. And uh, as for outbound links, I know that, you know, depending on the niche or the article, sometimes you won't be able to add sources, but when you can, do it. Okay, so it may seem like a lot, but with ChatGPT, this can all be done under one hour, one article with a video and fully optimized. Okay, so it doesn't take time at all when you know what you're doing and you're working with the right tools. So how do you guarantee yourself from outranking your competitors? Well, you need to look for an article that's ranking number one in your keyword that's missing any of the stuff that I just showed you right there in the structure. So if they don't have a video, if they don't have a short answer, if they don't have a frequently asked question section, if they don't have a key takeaway section, the more of these things that they don't have that you could add, this is how you're going to end up outranking your competitor because you're going to be providing a whole lot more value than they are. So this is why using this structure is going to allow you to make better articles than your competitor. Now, if you see that your competitors are using, uh, I don't know, for example, your competitor's article has 700 words. Well, don't go and make a 3000 word article. Try to stay around the same number of words that your competitor used to rank number one. So if they made 700 words, even though you make 600 or 900 words, doesn't matter, but just try to stay in the same ballpark. 
And it's always important to link back to your article uh, from two to four different social media because if, for example, you're using YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, and LinkedIn, and in all of your posts, you're adding your blog article link, it's all going to link back to your blog article, and that's good for the search engines. So if you follow those three things and the blog article structure, you're guaranteed to outrank your competitors in low competitive keywords. And that's a fact. Please move on to the next part of the training. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.